You are still tuning into Omi Television, and the program is the Sports Coffee Show. That, that's SCS Sports Coffee Show. We are live on Omi TV official. That's on Facebook, so you can watch us all around the globe. Yes, so in your offices and everywhere, watch us Omi TV official. We are on your free to air digital channel. So if you can't get us, just risk on your television set, and you are good to go. So yes, Terry Bismarck also has joined me. And so we're going to delve deep into his life and, and the kind of games he has played, the teams he has played, and all that. So, Bismarck, yeah. how are you doing? Uh, I'm good. Um, what's up? What's up? What's up with you? Yeah. Where have you been? Yeah, I've been around because of the COVID-19. Mm. So we are all at home okay. doing our personal training and things. Yeah. Take me through your typical training at home. What do you do around this time that uh, you are stuck in the, in the room? Okay. Fortunately for me, mm -hmm. I'm close to uh, Legon City's training pitch okay. at okay. Pan time. So every morning I go there, I do some push-ups, some uh, core trainings okay. and running and things. Yeah. So to keep I, I set up cones and run through it and use the ball more. Okay. So you supervise yourself throughout course, the training? Yeah, of course. Oh, okay. So take because us of the social distance. Okay. So you don't need anybody <laughs> to get closer to you. But I have uh, the online training. So I go okay. through it, then I go to the field. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. So I want us to start the journey for people to, to know how your journey started. Take us through your early stages. Yeah. School, where you started okay. from and all that. It's become monotonous, but we definitely still have to do that anyway. Of course, yeah. Mm. Yeah, uh, I started from Kumasi, okay. that's where I was born. Mm. And I was playing for a club. Uh, the name keeps changing, so okay. I don't know the name to call <laughs> it the It keeps club. metamorphosing. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, uh, but, but what was the first name? The first name was Oredu FC. Oredu the, FC. The king of the town. Oh, okay, uh, he, that, he owned the club then. He, or they named the it after owner, him? But he was sponsoring the team. So oh, okay. They, they used his name okay. after him. But the coach is called Miller. Miller. So okay. I was promoted to, uh, or I was bought Con uh, connect babies. Okay, you were bought. But okay. <laughs> did you feel the money? If you, if no, you, no, no. Yeah, that okay. one I was young, so. Okay. Like, <laughs> but you were told you were bought. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> because they own everything. Your uh, card and my everything. card and everything. Okay. So they, they gave it to connect babies. Okay. So I played, I played for connect baby for just a season, and I moved to Accra to join uh, Medina Manchester. Before we, we, we come to Accra, what division was Con, uh, Connors Babies then? Division Connors, 2, Division 1? Connors Premier? was a Division 1 club, but division I one. was with the junior side. With the junior side, okay. Connors Babies. Okay, yeah. continue. Yeah, so I moved to Accra, I joined Mandela, uh, Medina Manchester for a while, mm. and I moved to Mandela Soccer Academy. That's where I got a chance to play for the national team. Okay, so we will come to the national team. Which schools did you attend? Um, primary, mm. JHS, and all? I attended uh, Chapatre MAJHS. The name was Chirapatre. Chirapatre. Yeah. Okay. In Kumasi. In Kumasi. And I moved to Accra to continue my education. I, I attended Delcam College. Okay. Why moving? Is it because of football? Yeah. Or family had to. Okay. Move my, here? my uncle stays in Accra. He came to Kumasi and he saw me playing. He saw that oh, his nephew got He's a talent. Well. So uh, he has to bring me to Accra because. Someday, I did. We, where, when I was in Kumasi, we do say the opportunities are in Accra. Okay. If you want to travel outside, Kotoka is in Accra. So. <laughs> yeah, the airport is closer <laughs> to Accra than Kumasi. So if you, if you come to Accra, then you are close to traveling. Okay. So okay. To <laughs> I get you, I get you. Okay, so let's look at um, um, how you started. How old were you when you came to Accra? Yeah, when I came to Accra, I was like nine, ten. Okay, yes, very young, very, very young. young. Okay, so because you said I was, Manchester? I was playing under 12 by then. Under 12. So this Manchester team you joined, what division was that? Yeah, that one was a Division 2, but I was playing for the junior side as well. How, how did you join yeah. the club? Is it because you were situated in that area or yeah. you were spotted? When I came to board? Accra, I asked around that uh, I want a team to join. Then they, they told me there are a lot of teams around and things, but I told them that it's not a team that is a team. I want a team that is good, play tournaments and things. When they go to tournaments, they win and so on and so forth. So they introduced Medina Manchester to me. And when I went there, I saw it clearly. Okay. It wasn't a lie. If I get you right, any team be any team. Name of team, team. Yeah, we have a team. <laughs> there are some teams 
that when you are playing, you are just, just playing, playing for playing sake. Sure. And there are some teams that has that potential. Has potential mm. and things. And if you go there, definitely you are going to learn something from them. Okay. Okay. Because when I came, though I was good, I, I learned a lot of things from them. Mm. Kudos to uh, Coach Kati. Okay. Kati are Panama. You, are you still in touch with him? Yes, of course. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, so how many siblings? Do you have? Um, I have nine siblings. Nine, and then nine. you are the. Yeah, I'm the seventh. Uh, seventh, okay, okay. Are, are your parents supporting your career? Yeah, of course. They, they are into whatever you And I came on a happy belated Mother's Day to okay. you. Yeah, she has been supporting me spiritually mm. and physically. How was your, the journey like from, from, I mean, your parents, were, were they wholeheartedly supporting whatever you, you had wanted to do as a footballer? Initially, or? it was very hard. Okay. Because uh, I quite remember one day, my mom told me to come and do something at home. Mm. Whilst uh, those in the town, I, my colleagues and even the elderly people sure. came to my mom and told, him, uh, told her that uh, there is a football man, so I have to go and play. And uh, my mom was complaining mm. and, uh, they said, oh, this, by that time, Chastela was uh, coming to Kotoko. Okay. So his was name moving. was around, okay. Okay. around, around Kumasi. And, uh, mm. So uh, they were saying that, hey, if, if he becomes Chastela, and then okay. you'll be happy. And my mom said, <laughs> Chastela was doing something at home before going to <laughs> <laughs> No, No age, more with you. No, yeah, you uh, okay. <laughs> okay. So obviously, so she wanted happy. you to finish the household just before. Uh, but that thing really helped me because... Uh, I know how to do some things at home mm. because of what my mom taught me. Okay. So okay. sometimes so, I'll be around, I'll be alone at home, mm. and I have to do my things on my own. Wow. And I do so it. So you can't uh, prepare can the bankus and all that. I can that. do everything. I can watch. I can do everything. So in a way, your mother helped. You of know. Of course. Yeah. Okay. So fast forward. Let's look at your father as well. How? Yeah. Um, sorry, my dad is late. Oh, sorry. Anyway. Sorry about that. Mm. Sorry. Sorry. It sorry. A lot. So he's been mother throughout. Yeah. Who has been supporting the journey? But my, my dad played a little part uh, when it comes to my educational level. Okay. So that's um, Bismarck Terry also in the national team jersey. Yeah, so this one, which of the national teams? 17? Yeah, under 17. Oh, okay. 17. okay, we'll come to that. We'll come yeah, to okay. how you received the news when you were called, you know. We have over 30,000 <laughs> players who are looking for this opportunity. Mm -hmm. So then, your mother gave you the opportunity, right? Yeah. So you started playing. Then you came to Manchester. Okay, let's start um, from Manchester. From Manchester to, I played in uh, Etel Rising Star. Etel, oh, oh, oh Etel okay. Etel Rising Star, yeah. You were part of those yeah. players? Okay. And, uh, so you uh, succeeded played, there? Yeah. Not really. Not really, okay. And, uh, but that time they said I'm too young for that. Mm. <laughs> Though I was playing, but I was very little. I said, now, now, so. now that you can see me like this, <laughs> that time. <laughs> you know, I, I, that time. I, I get it, I get it. <laughs> I was very young, so... Mm, mm, mm. so uh, it didn't discourage what me. What position do you play? Yeah, I'm a defensive midfielder. Defensive midfielder. Yeah. When means you should get some kind of energy, you know. It, de it demands... The, the energy is there. Any. Just that mm. I need body the body. You know. yeah. okay. Okay. The energy is there. Mm. Because uh, in the African Cup, I played as a defensive midfielder throughout. Oh, yeah. oh okay. okay. So how did you receive the news when, when you were called to the national team? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was very shocked. Wow. Wow. I was at home. I was going to fetch water. Wow. As usual. So oh. when, when I came home, my uncle told me he had heard my, my name on TV. Wow. Wow. And I, I was like, ah, how? So uh, I decided to listen to the radio. Mm. And a, a friend of mine from school wow. also called me and said, ah, he's Terry watching television Marcos. and he has heard my name. So how come? And I said, oh, I don't know. So I, I listened to the radio and I heard it as well. So that day I was supposed to go for training, so I went there. And when I got there, it was like, <laughs> come and look at some people praising me. Oh, wow, good day. You have wow. been called, you have been called. I said, wow, yeah. that yeah. means I have a big task ahead of me. Now, which of the clubs were you playing then? I was playing for Mandela Sokak. Mandela Sokak. So who was the coach for the national uh, team? Oh. You wouldn't remember? Uh, I know, mm -hmm. no, but the reason why I did that is uh, he's very sick now. Oh. In, He's on dialysis now. He's called Coach David Amoa. Oh, oh, oh. Coach, I wish you speedy recovery. Definitely. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry he about needs, that. He needs help. Mm. He's very serious. He needs to be traveled to India to to uh, mm. the kidney transplant. And oh. things. Wow, 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 wow. When I heard the news, wow. it made me sad.
Okay, so that's Ghana against Cameroon in yeah. the AFCON, yeah. where you had Terry playing in the game. You were in this game? Yeah, of course. Wow. How, how, how was the whole euphoria like? <laughs> <laughs> how, well, at first, mm -hmm. uh, when I watch my, my seniors, that's mm. the blasters and things, mm. uh, when I see it, I see it to be difficult. But when we got there, mm. and uh, in our first match, mm. I, was at I was on the bench. This is the first match uh, against okay. Cameroon. I was on the bench. Okay. In the, I saw how they were playing, and I asked myself, ah, this is how they are playing. That means it's the same thing that we play in Ghana. Okay. So I can do <laughs> They're it. They're starting exceptional. Yeah. So mm -hmm. when I went in, I proved. So I you came it. on what time? Second I half? I came around, yeah, second half. Yeah, okay. Around 60 something. To substitute who? Uh, Idris Mohamed. Okay. I'll, I'll come back to the, to the matches you played, but I still want to know. So after receiving the news, having been called to the national team, you go to the training camp and your guys were cheering you up. So how, how, what went through your mind? Like, oh, I'm a big guy now, you know? No, no. <laughs> I, I, I told myself that, hey, so all these people heard that I've been called. That means I have a big task ahead of mm, me. Mm. So I have to keep Please. on working hard. Sure, sure, sure. So when I go to the camp, the national team camp, mm. there were so many players. Wow. I was shocked. Wow. I said, oh, Ghana, we have a lot of talented players, mm. both inside and outside like the country. Like how many? Oh like, at first, they called only 32 players. 32. Okay. Yeah, 32. So who yeah. was the coach for the national team then? Uh, Paco Fabian. Fabian, okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, the 32, the, that time it was during the qualifiers. Mm. So they have to take 18 players for the qualifiers. <laughs> 32. Ah, Tom Paibo. <laughs> It wasn't easy. Yeah. It wasn't easy at all. Take me through and, that moment. And as time goes on, people do come in and go out. Mm. Oh, new players. Okay. Even some from outside the 32. Outside, outside the keep coming in. Yeah. Wow. They do call people from outside mm. the country. Sometimes from outside you, the country. Also. Sometimes you'll be in camp. You hear that oh, a player is coming from Germany. I am sure. Look at the facilities that we have here mm. and the facilities we that have they have the, in yeah, Germany. Yeah. And a Germany, a German player is coming Come here. In. Wow. Especially if he's to play the same position as you do. As you do. <laughs> so sometimes a new player will come and you see uh, those in the camp, they mm. may ask him, hey, what position does he play? Uh -huh. What position does he play? Uh -huh. <laughs> you want to know whether oh, he, he's, so what? he's your competitor. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so that, wow. Wow. Uh, but eventually you made the cut. How was it announced, the final uh, 18? <laughs> we were in the camp. Mm. And uh, sometimes, when, when they are about to sack players yeah. from the camp, they do sack players. They sack them. They sack them. Kofi, um, yeah. yeah. When we, we go to the dining hall, or sometimes they come to our room, they come and call us one, one after the other. They will tell you that, oh, you know we are many. Mm. Some do have to go home. <laughs> oh. Oh. So, if so, you hear your name, wow. that means... It's just like you are it, facing the Sahindrin. <laughs> like... Death, death sentence or something. Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. oh. So, so you keep if going. you hear your name, uh, you go and pack your things. Then come for your transportation. Then you go home. <laughs> yeah, so you come for your transportation. You come for your transportation. Oh, oh. Nana, me cool. So you just say bye bye to your friends. You are yeah. good to go. So mm -hmm. they they mention the names and the, the same applies to the final selection. They will come and call all of us, mm -hmm. and they will start saying that, hey, you see you how many. We are mm. going, we need only 18 players. Wow. So that doesn't mean you are a bad player. If you don't go, it doesn't mean you are a bad player. So uh, next time, keep improving in your club. Mm. We'll call you back. And things. So they will start mentioning the wow. I can remember when we were going for the AFCON, mm. a friend of mine called Samuel Moniando. He was part of the squad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when we were in the room, he, uh, he came to me. So do you think I'll be going? I said, oh, don't worry, uh, you'll be going. Uh, the way you are playing, I can see that you go. Charlie, you know, when we are even playing friendly match here, you are the people who are playing. <laughs> so that, <laughs> what so should, you had lost hope. What should that you, I'll be going? Mm. So the final day when we were mentioning the names, he, came, he, he stood at my back oh. and he held my, my jersey like this. <laughs> and he was like, <laughs> he was shaking. He was shaking me. Oh, shaking me, oh, shaking me. Oh, oh, oh. They were mentioning the name. Fortunately for him, his name came before I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what <laughs> position? Yeah, he, he was uh, attacking midfielder. Oh, okay. A winger, yeah. Okay, attacking okay. So different from your position. Lefty, yeah. So eventually you made it. He made was it. Was that the yeah, first okay. time you were traveling outside? No, uh, my first time was uh, with the, the same under 17, but oh, okay. the qualifiers, uh, the qualifiers uh, with Côte d'Ivoire. Okay. 
Okay. Cote d'Ivoire. So we went to Cote d'Ivoire. That Cote d'Ivoire too. <laughs> I lost hope. Mm. But fortunately for me, it worked through. You, you made it. Because, uh, but that time, I went to the national team as a centre back. Mm. But the positions were co occupied. Mm. And those, those who were playing over there were very good. Good. Okay. Oh, I, I compliment them that they, they were very good. When okay. I got there, I saw them, I said, wow. Mm. This is what. These guys are good. This, these guys are good. This is what I want so that I can learn something mm. from that. So fortunately for me, <laughs> I don't know whether it's a blessing from God okay, or what. But are you the a Christian? Oh, I'm yeah, not, yeah, go I'm to a Christian. Church. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so uh, you are highly spiritual. Yeah, so <laughs> like the, uh, the coach called me and asked me, can you play as a midfielder? Mm. I said, yes. I said, hey, this is the national team. In the national jersey, if you don't play well, you know what Ghanaian When will you say. went there as a defender? I went there as a defender, centre-back. Mm. And he called and you to ask. We were playing matches, matches wow. upon matches. Mm. So during one training at Suga Kope, we went to bed there. And uh, I don't know, I got a ball from the defense. Mm. I penetrated through the midfield and I got wow. <laughs> in the pool. So after the training in the evening, they came to call me and asked me. Same Fabian? Play? Yeah. Okay. Can you play as a midfielder? I said, yes, coach. Uh, are you sure? I said, yes, coach. Yeah. This is a national team. Mm. Have you played some before? I said, oh, when I was young. I said, hey. And you are saying yes. <laughs> <laughs> like you are sure. Uh, but the, the confidence that I had, yeah. and I was saying yes, yes, coach, yes, coach. Yeah. He saw it that I can you do could. it. So the next morning, he brought me to the midfield. And he gave me uh, a role to play. Okay. And I did it perfectly. Wow. So all my colleagues came to me and said, wow, mm. so you, you are made for that and you, you said you are a defender. defender. I said, I'm not a made for so that. So that was how come you switched yeah. to defend, uh, yeah. made for yeah. Okay, so you owe that to Paco Isifel, yes, who yeah. gave you that yeah. opportunity. Yeah. So let's look at the tournament proper. How, how was your performance? Did you play throughout the game? No, I played four out of five games. Four out of five? Yeah, because of injuries. Oh, oh you, you got one, injured? Yeah. In wow. the African Cup, I got injured. In the World Cup, too, I got injured. Oh, oh. Okay. The African Cup, if you, you watch the match, I, I was bandaged. Mm. I was bandaged mm. on the head. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I got injured uh, in the uh, second game. Oh, okay. Second game against Gabon. Gabon. I got a cut on my head in the bandage. So wow. I didn't play the third game. Mm. But the fourth game, I used you the recovered. bandage to play. Oh, okay. In the finals, too, I came in, in the second half. Wow, wow. Then let's look at the World Cup. The World Cup, too. Yeah, as I said. So during the AFCON, it meant that you had solidified your grounds as, as someone mean. who has made it to, I mean, who will be part of the World Cup squad. Because usually after AFCON, there are a bit of changes in the squad. Uh, yeah. But you were sure you were going to make it. I wasn't sure by then because uh, after the World Cup, mm. uh, after the African Cup, we came home. And when we come home to, you see, we'll be roaming about. Yeah. Like we, don't, you know, we know that we have gone to a tournament and we've come back, so we don't take our personal training serious. Yeah, and then, that's, that's you know, it's time like for us to rest. So, so when we were called back to the camp, we, we went there with 35 players. 35? 35. And they, the coaches told us that you think you have played in the African mm. Cup, so automatically you it's go to the World Cup. Team. Automatically you go to the World Cup. You wait and see. Mm. So we were panicking, like, oh, like, so we decided to at least do something for the coaches to see that we deserve it. And we, are, we have suffered from mm. the qualifiers through the African <laughs> to Cup. The tournament. And for almost 10 years, Ghana hadn't qualified for the World Cup. Mm. And we were the first to qualify Ghana to the World Cup for 10 years. Yeah. So we told ourselves that we have done this, so we deserve to go to the World, the World Cup. <laughs> I want you to take yeah. us through, uh, for the benefit of our viewers who don't know, which year was that? It was 2017. 2017, and w where did you get to in terms of the competition? Uh, the AFCON? Yeah. The AFCON, we went to the finals. Finals, and played with, against which with country? Mali. Mali. With Mali, yeah. Okay. And we lost one, one goal. To one, one goal, okay. <laughs> okay, so you continue. So, so uh, we had 35 brought 35 back mm. in the camp. Including uh, the academy players, that is the world developed academy mm. in Ghana. Mm. Right to Dream, oh. Wafa, oh. right to Dream. Players. They score teams <laughs> like 5 0, 10 0, and the likes. Their players came there. Mm. And you know, you know how organized they are. They so are. when they came, Obviously. like we were scared that, oh, mm. that, is the end, that is the end of the week for us. <laughs> but I remember I was with that same friend, Mon, uh, Samuel Moniando. We were sitting oh, okay. on the bench and they were playing a friendly. And we were watching them. And I, I told my friend that, is this how they play? 
Oh, this is not anything different mm. from what we are playing. And secondly, they play like academic style. The pa 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 pa. Mm. And the, the national team too. You see, we are aiming for something, a trophy. Yeah. yeah so yeah. we need someone who is determined. Yeah. To to fight, to score yeah, aggressive like type to of fight play. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. To put dedicated all, all in mm. for the so young Mufi. Yeah. So I I, to, I told my colleague that this is how they play. Mm. They, this this is good. We are going to learn from this, but we are not going to give yes. them the chance to mm. go. Mm. You seem so to be very confident. They, they brought five players from uh, six players from Right to Dream and five from Wafa, making eleven players. Wow. But when we were going, uh, it was left with Wafa three and Right to Dream four. So oh, three. Okay. Yeah. And you still made the cut. Yeah. So I you mean, go to the World Cup. I went to the World Cup. Then you've really, you've, you've really done yourself some good, you know, <laughs> playing for the national team in Afcon and World Cup. In Congratulations. World Cup. Thank you. So you go to um, India. India, yeah. I, I think we have some of the games on us. Okay, so this was against um, Cameroon. Cameroon yeah. Okay. Yeah. In the Afcon, yes, which you, you, you played. You came on as a substitute. Okay, okay. And, so looking at the crowd, um, playing an Afcon, seeing the crowd, uh, what, what went through your mind? You see, I said, me a big man, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 When you got there, uh, <laughs> I told my friend, hey, Charlie, is that me? Look at where I'm coming from and where I've got into. Some people have paid money to come and watch me. Wow. 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 God, is, God is good. That's what I told my mm, friend. Mm. So that means I have to prove to them that I deserve to be here. Wow. Wow. That's wow. what I told myself. Wow, wow, wow. We thank God. We thank God. I'm told before the game you had a friendly against Mali, which you lost. <laughs> yeah. A friendly match against that, Mali. That was uh, before the World Cup. Before the World Cup. Yeah. So how we was that game? in uh, Dubai. Mm -hmm. uh, Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi, Dhabi right. Yeah. Okay. So, so yeah. were you scared in a way that you haven't lost that game, you were not prepared in a while, but it wasn't really a threat at all because you felt it was just a friendly? Yeah, that one, we feel it was just a friendly, but like after, you see, it's a friendly match and a friendly, you need to try all your players because it was left with just a week for the final squad mm. and uh, they, we were supposed to go with 21 players Okay. and we were 26 mm. over there. Uh, which country kicked you up in the World Cup? The, the same Mali. Exactly, that's why I asked. Because yeah. I know there were those who scored you in the finals. In the finals. Then you got there, the they scored you again. The friendly, they scored you too. <laughs> so, I mean, you guys didn't learn. Afcon, you lost. At least, having lost against them in the friendly, it meant that meeting them in the World Cup it was never going to be a second, a third time. So, they beat you. Hat trick. Well, as for the friendly, like, um, what I saw was that. Uh, bec because it was the final day mm. for the selection, coach wants to try okay. everybody so that he can get his final 21. Final. Okay. So he just brought everyone. So it wasn't like a yeah. full squad. Yeah. He to just play. mixed the squad. Okay. And you see, maybe I can play with you, but when I'm with this uh, another guy, maybe I cannot play well. Mm. So he has to maybe let me play with the other guy. Maybe I was playing with you always. Like four and five center mm, backs. Mm. Or so the understanding the is there. Yeah, the understanding is there. So he has to try me and that other guy. And maybe when we play for the fir first half, and he'll, he'll bring the other guy and you to play okay. as well and okay. see okay. the combination. So there's no understanding, yeah. sort so, of. Yeah. Okay. Was but was probably the Mali teams were, do the Mali team was doing the same. Or the Mali team was doing the same. You don't know for them. I didn't know that. they beat you three times, my brother. <laughs> How did you feel? In the, in the World Cup, you were beaten by Mali again. In the you felt like no, we are there. In the World Cup, it was because of the rain. I will put the blame on the rain. The rain. Because we were very determined to score them. Mm. And when it rained, we went to the, f the pitch. We did not even warm up on the, f on the field. Wow. They gave us a different field to warm up mm. on. Because they said because of the rain, when we, we warm up on the field, like we are going to spot the grass. Okay. So you warmed up on a, different field. on a different field. I'm sure the Malian team did the same. They also warmed up. I'm not in their camp. <laughs> so, so I don't you know what But I want to believe they also <laughs> had to warm up on a different page. Yeah. But as a normal one, they know it was for the same idea. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, they are good. I they respect good. them, but okay. I'm, I'm not afraid of them. Of them. Because, um, <laughs> fortunately for them, mm. for the Malians, all the games that we played, I was injured. Uh, okay, so you didn't play in those yeah. games? Uh, in the finals against uh, 
Uh, in the Afcon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was injured on my head, so mm. I came in around 80, 80th. Oh, yeah, By that time, you scored the one goal already. Okay. Uh, so we played and we did not equalize. How and about the World Cup? And the World Cup too, I got injured oh. on my knee. So that I, I didn't play at, at all. all. So they probably, were lucky. Probably. They were lucky probably. I wasn't there. <laughs> Anyway, so that's so we are done with under 70. Any other national team? Yeah, under yeah. 17? yeah, I was with the under 20 okay. during the qualifiers okay. against uh, Algeria. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was with them. Okay. Uh, I was the acting captain by then. Oh, yeah. Wow. wow. Because uh, it was a new call up and uh, they didn't choose the captain. So right away, they, yeah. So they, they have uh, someone need to uh, act like act mm. as a captain. So it was our former captain, uh, our under seventeen captain. A uh, year was the captain okay. by then. Mm. So he got injured and he went he went home, mm. and I was given the the position to okay. act. So as how captain. was your progress in the under twenty two? It was good because mm. we were with the premier team that time. The Premier League was ongoing, okay. so the man of the matches and things were mm, coming to camp, so it was you. very difficult for us. Where were you then? Which club were you playing? I wasn't playing for any club. I was with oh. the Mandela Soccer Oh, Academy. okay. <laughs> you hadn't been spotted even after you had played for the Yeah, I was spotted, but uh, it was like we were, <laughs> we were looking for a bigger opportunity. No, 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 opportunities no, 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 But I didn't want to play in the Ghanaian Premier League at all. I wanted to play, but uh, it was but you still it was with my vision. manager. Oh, okay, he was yeah. deciding. Yeah. But sometimes you are the player, so well, manager yeah, let me play. When the offers come, mm. the manager puts it on table and uh, uh, look at the, options. the, the mm. options and ask you which one do you want. Okay. If maybe you might want some uh, a club, mm -hmm. but the, the the price that they are giving is low. Okay, it will not benefit your manager. Mm -hmm. And you too, when you go there, you can't play with hunger. Sure, sure. So sure. at least you need to go for the big one. Mm -hmm. And the big one too, maybe when you go, you not get opportunity to play. Opportunity. So which one do you prefer? It's quite so you difficult have, sometimes. Yeah. You have to. Look at least at the you options. need to take your time to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At least you can talk to the big one, so that when you come. They will give you at least a few playing time mm. for you to upgrade your your profile. Wow! Let's let's zoom straight into Legon Cities. I can see you in their yeah. uh, round neck golf energy and all that. When when did you join Legon Cities? Yeah, Legon Cities. <laughs> I joined them after the World Cup. Oh, okay. After the World Cup, I I went to Germany. Mm. Yeah, I traveled to Germany. So okay. when I came back, I joined Legon Cities. So how at that time, it was uh, FC Juanju. Jumping so FC joined you. Okay. Yeah. So it's oh. because of jumping so that's why I joined. Ah. Because he has experience in the game. He took and over from yeah. Nantechi. Yeah. yeah. After Nantechi. he. Okay. So he changed the name to FC. Jong it was FC joined you like it was a division club. Oh, okay. Like he was now building the team. The team. Oh, okay. And uh, during the NC tournament, mm. we played in the the division two uh, NC competition. Okay. As FC Stallions. Mm. Then, okay. FC Stallions. Then after that, he got the Wow Stars oh, and okay. changed the name to Legon Cities. Legon Cities. Okay. So you joined them. Yeah. So how has been your progress there in terms of yeah. getting the opportunity to play and all? Yeah. When John Penso was there, mm. <laughs> I was the pillar in the team. Oh, okay. When it comes to the Midfield mm. uh, Division, so uh, I was playing day in and day out every match. We played. We played against when the Wow Stars people came. We played against. Uh, Liberty, I played. We played against Interallies. I played. Uh, we played against House of Folk. Played against Olympics, against Dreams, all the Premier Class. Wow. And even Bechem United, we scored them 2-0. 2-1. Mm. That one, okay. two, I played. Every 90 minutes, everything. So, yes. how about playing under Goran's Barataravich? How has it been? Have you had the opportunity mm. to play? Goran, under him? since he came here, he, he hasn't given me any yeah. opportunity. Wow. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's because of his tactics, the mm. player that he wants for his tactics. Because I was even surprised that um, a coach from outside, a white man, mm. coming to a club and seeing a national team player, not just a national team, playing in the African Cup and the World, the World Cup, Cup and putting him on bench. Mm. I was even shocked that he was doing that. But I don't know. Maybe it was his tactics. His tactics. How, how, how is the future like for you? Are you still going to stay put with Legon Cities or you're looking at options? No, I've, I've already terminated the contract. Oh, you've terminated the contract? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So where are you it now? Was, it was a mutual concern. I mutual. told them that 
Yeah. I can't wait for the coach to terminate his contract or maybe being sacked before, before I get the opportunity. opportunity. But you're maybe. very young and yeah. have the talent too. Of course. So, so what, what are the options now? Have you had, are you still in touch with some clubs? Yeah, yeah, and the office. Your manager. I have so many offers on oh. board. Okay. But my manager is going through all. Mm. Mm. Okay, <laughs> so is there anything you would want to put across that we haven't touched on, on, on your personality? Mm. I think. Mm, You've virtually yeah. touched on everything. <laughs> but, but, yeah, but what should we expect from you in, in the next three or four years? Yeah. Outside yeah. Um, playing what club? First of all, which of the clubs do you support in Ghana? In Ghana? Yeah. <laughs> I support all the clubs. <laughs> Every club. Oh, but I don't, are you not emotionally yes. attached to one? Hearts of Food. Hearts of Food, okay. Then outside? Outside Barcelona. Barcelona, okay. Why Barcelona? <laughs> Barcelona because, mm -hmm. uh, you see, at first they do promote players from the academy to the senior team. Mm. So if you look at their style of play, and you are, you are a footballer, you want to learn how to play football. That's the team that you need to support. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> Just so watching their play mm, really stressing me. Mm, Just mm. watching Barcelona. If, really even, if they, even if they lose, the way they play, I tell myself that, oh, this is the team that I want. <laughs> it's enough of motivation <laughs> yeah. for you. Because if you are in the team, there is no stress on you. Mm. Everybody gets the chance to play. Like, when, when we, you, you are on the field, it's not like Coco football, but when you mm. in pass, so mm. everybody will play. Will involved, yeah. They can buy a player to Barcelona, and people will be complaining about player with their own dear player, they will, but still, they will pass ball to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, will pass ball to him. You definitely you get to something to play. You say Suarez, yes, he said, wasa, wasa, wasa. Mm. But Suarez was scoring goals. Yeah. Sure. When he gets the chance, he will score. He will score. But Very well. How we, we are just hoping that um, um, the options you are looking at will be favorable for you to continue your career. You look very young. You know when you entered, I asked you of your yeah. age. So I'm sure when you were playing for under 70, you were 15, 14. Yes, yes. Yeah, so you still look, you, I mean, you look very young. We are just praying and hoping that opportunities will come your way. Just make sure your manager gets you a very good club. And Nomi TV is here to support the youth who are definitely talented and are hoping to get um, contract that would help them and also make sure their future looks bright for them. Yeah, thank you. Sir. It's always a pleasure having you. Thank you so much. Terry Bismarck, who was my guest, the next guest. So maybe finally, yeah, if you have something to say. Yeah. To yeah. So that's your camera. This I would say uh, happy belated Mother's Day to all mothers in mm -hmm. Ghana. Uh, my mother, Befia, uh, Inu, and all my sisters. Happy Mother's Day to uh, everybody. And uh, I wish Coach David Amwa speedy recovery. Mm. And kudos to Coach Parkosi, my manager, Mr. Collins, AJ, my uncle, Mr. George, George Champon, and my, my personal, personal manager, okay. Bob. Bob. <laughs> Your personal, personal <laughs> manager. My personal, personal manager, Bob. Uh, he has a fast food at uh, Bayari Fast Food Okay. Bob okay. Fast food. And they only need Monday Dwayne Hoka, right? <laughs> All right, thank you so much. That was Terry Big Smack Ousu, sorry, uh, formerly of um, Black uh, Starlets and Satellites, and he's even had a chance to captain one of the national teams. So he's an asset. I want us to have an eye on him and get to look at how he progresses. So he's terminated his contract with Legon Cities. They are looking at options, and so let's hope that he gets the right option. So the next on my show, or on the show, is sports journalist Seydou Adamu is going to help me do the discussion for today. Stay tuned. He's joining us right after this break.